Are you sure you don't want a cup of tea? Just get to the point. I like the calm and tranquility, and they make a lovely cup of tea. I like the activity, the excitement and praise of worship, all the singing and dancing. I don't really understand church. What's the point? I like the peacefulness of a church. Time to quietly reflect. And if there's some free childcare, then all the better. I just go because the wife goes. Too loud and active. I just can't concentrate. All that dancing has never mean much to me. The sense of being in God's presence always fills me with energy. It makes me jump around. <laughs> I don't move like I used to. Even standing a bit too long is an effort. But I've got a lovely soft cushion in my pew. Oh, I like those big old churches with all the statues and the weird singing door. That's like what heaven is. I want to be able to concentrate just on God without having to multitask like I have to do at home. I want to hear God's word, read God's word, have it explained in a powerful preaching. I like it nice and traditional, what I grew up with. These new services are so confusing. I like hip hop and grime. Something like that would be good, but different. Whatever, it's all much the same. As long as all the words are on the sheet and I know where I am, it's fine. What's not to understand? The traditional words are so evocative, like spiritual poetry. You don't have to understand them all. There are too many words. Slippery thing words mean different things to different people. Less dreary words. It's supposed to be a celebration! <laughs> I can't read too good. And some of those words are plain weird. Nothing too touchy-feely though. Just get to the point. More pictures. Didn't Jesus use pictures? I'm sure I've seen pictures. I think in pictures. And stories. I know it all stories. Stories that make it easier to understand. Following Jesus, everything he said and did showed us something about God. To be accepted because Jesus welcomes us all. Remembering that Jesus died for us, like we do in the Eucharist. Well, if you go to church, I suppose you're a Christian. Helping other people, doing what's right. Acting like Jesus, actions speak louder than words. Well, of course you have to act like one too, otherwise what's the point? It cuts through the rubbish of my life. It makes you feel alive! Being part of a community, looking out for each other. You need that when you're older. Being part of a holy community where you can feel free to hug and to be hugged. Hugging? Well, maybe sometimes. Hugging? We never did that when I was young. There's always someone wants to hug you. Duck and weave, duck and weave. No way, no hugging. Music, movement, flags and banners, some drums for the kids. I need people to stop asking me to do things. It would be nice to know I'm still valued, have a place and a soft cushion. I need somewhere safe to hang out. Somewhere warm, preferably. Uh, I need some help with the DIY. Oh, from church. Uh, some help with the DIY? Something that speaks my language, like a Pentecost. I need a service that meets my needs. I'd come to a midweek evening prayer. Oh, huh? Yeah, well, some advice on how to deal with my problems. 
like, you know, I got lots of problems. I suppose I could help out at a drop-in centre. I make a mean cup of tea. I have a few words of advice of my own. It'd be good to get together with some of the blokes more regularly. Perhaps over a beer or something. I suppose it would have to have a spiritual purpose. Probably a woman to organise it. Or oh, and pizza. Do you have pizza? The creed. The creed. The creed. What's a creed? That bit in the middle, they keep changing it. Long, short, Q&A. Beautiful old words about what we believe. The fundamentals of our faith. You know, what we believe, what we agree on. We all believe that, don't we? You'd have to show me.